Hey guys, today we are going to create an intro animation inside of HitFilm Express for your YouTube channel. Before we get started, how about you hit the like button so that you help out the channel and also the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you are new here, then consider subscribing to the channel. Now you've done that, let's get started with the video. So as you can see, I have loaded some files that we'll be using for this intro. Uh, there is a mouse cursor image and a YouTube icon. You can use your own logo instead. So let's get started with creating a new composite shot and uh, let's call this let's call it main or we can just call it info and for the duration let's go with five seconds should be good enough 19 20 30 you can also go 60 if you want and click on ok then we are going to create a new plane layer we call this pg for background and i'm gonna give it a slightly grayish color or kind of an off-white color and yeah that should be good click on okay the next thing we'll do is we'll just grab in this background and just drag that in and this will be your info bg and let's give it a fill color on this and i'm going to change its color to something else uh, let's go with the youtube red color um, so let's go with this one all right so now what we want to do is let's drag in our mouse cursor image let's drag that in uh, if it's too big just go to the scale and reduce the size and uh, i'm just going to make it tiny maybe around 15 percent i'm also going to rotate it something like that All right now we need to animate this cursor let's just rename this to cursor okay so for the animation go to position create a keyframe make sure you are at the very first frame and you just move it away from the screen so maybe i'll start from the bottom left corner uh, let's go to one second in time and uh, let's change the position and uh, bring it to the top over here you know just make sure it touches the top part of your comp so what we can do is we have these handles now you can select these handles and just drag it like so and change the motion path of this animation and now if you take a look at this animation you'll see your mouse cursor will be in a curved path all right, so I'm going to select these two keyframes, going to keyframes to manual bezier, going to value graph, hold the shift key and just drag the handle to the left. And maybe the, this handle as well, just drag it slightly to the left. So we'll have an animation that looks something like this. Let's turn on the motion blur on this layer. Uh, then we're going to make sure that this info background is away from the scene. So let's go to transform and I'm gonna, on the Y, I'm going to set this to negative. 1080 now oh, it should be positive 1080 so that it is like you know at the very top over here so at one second we create a keyframe on two second we're going to make sure that it is back to zero so again we're going to select these two keyframes come the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and create a similar graph um so i'm going to select the second handle and just drag it to the left um and we'll have an animation like this Alright, so uh, now we need to animate the mouse cursor again. So move to two second and change the position, bring it down like so. And maybe create a slightly curved path. And again, manual bezier, go into value graph and just drag the handle to the left. And you'll have something like this. Now if you take a look at the animation, it looks like the mouse cursor is dragging this background down with it and that is exactly what we want then uh, we'll just go forward to three second and bring this cursor back in the center i'm gonna set this to zero and zero it's right in the center and again the same thing we'll just add a value graph to this and smooth out the graph uh, we can add some text so let's add a text you can also do a logo over here if you want so i'm gonna just type in subscribe and you can choose any font that you want Go to layout and align it in the center by clicking on these two icons that are in the middle. Now make sure the cursor is on top of your text. So we have an animation like this. Now we need to make sure that our text follows the same animation as this info background. So we'll just simply select our text and parent it to our info background. And now it will have the similar kind of animation. But the problem is that our text moves away from the canvas over here or the comp. So we'll just go forward and just bring it back in the center. Our cursor is over here, so we can just you know put the text right in the center. So now if you take a look at the animation, boom, you have the text right in the center. All right, now 
on the cursor we'll just go here create a keyframe on scale let's uh, move three frames forward one two three hit the period key to move three frames forward three times i'm going to set the scale to 10 percent and again move three frames forward and set it back to 15. now this will create a click effect on our cursor boom right that looks really cool uh, after the click i want to create a transition that will reveal the the footage that is being played uh, behind so for example uh, we can use this footage over here so for that first of all we need to create a new comp and i'm going to call this final and i'm just going to drag in this info comp here and this will be our let's say our background footage okay so on this info comp after the click happens so maybe over here we can add a ellipse mask to this so we can click and hold on the rectangle mask and select ellipse mask and we can just start from the very center hold the alt and the shift key on a keyboard and just drag it out like so make sure it fills all of your comp then we are going to create go to transform and create a keyframe on scale and we'll set this to zero at the beginning and move forward to maybe around four second and ten frames and set it back to 100 so we'll have an animation like this now all you have to do is click on the invert mask icon and now you'll have an animation you'll click and the transition will take place now we need to make sure that the transition is smooth click these two keyframes Go to the keyframe to manual bezier go to value graph and create the similar graph so our transition will be much smoother and your background will be revealed so this background was just for the example you don't have to put your footage in this comp you can just delete out of this now i want to create a really simple text animation like a light sweep animation on this text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit command m on the text and i'm going to call it text click on ok let's close out of this and in the info comp we have our text comp over here and you'll see that it just uh, loses the animation the position animation so we need to make sure that we parent it to the info background once again so that it has the same animation and we have to do the same process again we just need to make sure that it is in the center now i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to call it text light sweep on this layer i'm going to add an effect called glow and uh, just apply that and i'm going to make sure that the blend is set to normal and i'm also going to increase the intensity and maybe reduce the radius something like that and you can play around with these values uh, i'm going to create a mask on this so let's select uh, the rectangle mask just create a mask like this we are going to go to the frame where we, we are able to see our text maybe right about here i'm going to go to mask and go to transform create a keyframe on position go forward in time maybe about this frame and uh, just move the position across so we can see your light sweep over there we'll just move to the right and also we just rotate it a little bit so let's rotate it by about 20 degrees um so we'll have a light sweep animation going on in our text so if i go to final comp you'll see the changes will be taking place in the in this comp as well so we'll have the light sweep over here right so you can go back to your position keyframes and make them smooth keyframes we'll have a much smoother light sweep animation all right so there you go uh, you can then go to your final comp and render out this animation for rendering you just go to export add to queue and i'm going to set the select contents and from here we need to select gopro cineform and make sure it ends with with alpha uh, because we at the end we have this uh, alpha background over here if you go to options and just make sure the checkerboard background is ticked you'll be able to see the checkerboard background and that means your animation has a transparency alpha transparency in it so that's why if you go to export we need to select uh, with alpha option so that it renders your animation with the alpha channel so now if you export the animation i have already created the animation over here and i'm going to drag that in so let's uh, take a look at it i'm going to drag it into the editor timeline and this is my animation over here so everything works perfectly fine and also 
you can go to your info comp and add a logo if you want so completely forgot about this let's add in our logo it's too big just scale it down and you can apply any uh, effects on it just quickly apply a hue saturation and lightness on this so that we have a different background color or the logo color from the background so let's go with this one and uh, again we can just place it any way we want we can just you know place it over here maybe now it doesn't have the animation but we can use the same trick as we did before we just parent it to the info background layer and it will have the same animation all we have to do is just bring it back in the center like so okay so if we take a look at it boom there we have the animation all right and in the final comp as well there you have it so uh in the editor timeline i have this animation over here i have already exported it now for the just want to show you this alpha transparency over here so if i just put any footage behind it let's just drag this one and happens right over here so let's drag that in you can see that the transition takes place and it will reveal your footage the background footage okay so just make sure that you render it with the alpha background and you are good to go so that is it for this video guys i hope it was helpful please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one